Well then, seems we've come to the end of this testimony. The witness is a grudge against the defendant and a blank in her testimony. Uh. Mr. Edgeworth, is the next witness ready to go? Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated this witness on account of her professional history. We did it! We screwed that can shut, Mr. Wright! But that was too close. Screwed that can shut? That sounds weird. I'm afraid that the cough-up queen has been dethroned. With that, court is adjourned. Hold it? Who? Oh, she did hold it? Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? That's the one she tried to foist off on me. I prefer not to take the defense team's leftovers. Anything else to say? I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence. What was that? Is she trying to put the blame on Edgeworth now? Is this another one of her trick lunchboxes? My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Star. Ah. Is this your jumbo lunchbox? Woohoo! A triple decker! Out of def deference to the witness's determination, I'll allow one more testimony. Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Like the Lunchland motto says, you won't be disappointed. What's she gonna pull out of her lunchbox this time? And yes, she just bribed the judge. Do you know what this reminds me of? What? Back in kindergarten, we had a show and tell where every kid, like, one kid was selected for the week. And they would go home with this lunchbox and they'd have to bring something into class that they could fit inside it. And people would have to, you'd have, a, you'd figure out a couple of descriptors and people had to guess what was inside the lunchbox before you opened it up. And guess what I put inside the lunchbox for my time? I'll give you a hint. It was a stuffed animal from a particular, really popular movie made by one of the largest film companies in existence. There's a lot of those. And they're it. They're royalty. What? Oh, you put in like uh, Pumbaa or something. <laughs> Pumbaa's not royalty, but oh, you got course. the right film. Yeah. You Sorry. mean Simba. Yeah, I, I yeah, put I put okay. a little stuffed animal Simba inside the lunchbox. That's cute. Okay, in any case. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, to the matter of the victim's shoe. And did I not bring this up? Two types of blood were found on his shoe. On this shoe. Oh, okay. One was, of course, the victim's. And the other blood type matched that of the defendant, Ms. Lana Sky. This shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. How did she have this evidence and no one else did? What? There was blood found on, the, on that shoe. Try Lunchland for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple, as I've already said. I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed? Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. In any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You must know the two, rule, the two rules of evidence law. Rule number one, no evidence shall be no shown without the approval of the police department. That has been broken so many times. Mm -hmm. In other words, this shoe is, an, is legal evidence, at least for the time being. It is that right, Mr. Wright? Seems so. Edgeworth sur sure is celebrating. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm? Don't forget. 
I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Because I have a boyfriend in absolutely every corner of all of this city's government. <laughs> I also happen to be a mole for the police department, who's very clearly in on this for some reason. I still need a judge to put in my pocket, too. I'll fit! <laughs> oh, baby, I'll fit! <laughs> Maybe I'll even work up to town mayor. <laughs> nope. Don't you goddamn dare. You stop with me. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> is this right, Mr. Wright? Hmm. It seems so. Edgeworth is looking pretty solid. Also, if she has three boyfriends in forensics, will any of them write me a... a, a a reference letter so that I can- I don't think you want those references. Oh. You can at least study some evidence law. Really? Prosecution's complaints notwithstanding. It appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence law. However, it seems you have yet another count against you, witness. Anything to ensure that the guilty are properly judged. Hmm, then how was she hurt? Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. What's with you two and Phoenix Wright? We love this game? Oh, I see. You mean us adding weird dialogue. This game is only dialogue. The only times we're actually allowed to commentate over this game is when we stop voice acting. When we're discussing our options for When we're things. discussing our options or, like, searching but for But also, clues. he likes ad-libbing. But I love ad-libbing dumb dialogue and I'm, into stuff. And I'm stuff. attempting to ad-lib. And you're, you're getting better at it. And so we're just adding as much as we, we want, because why not? It, it's... It's kind of us putting a parody spin on an already goofy, goofy game. game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, we're adding this stuff that they might want to write. But, like, absolutely can't include. I don't know. It's fun. Let's see. Is this Apollo? Ace Attorney? This is this is the first one. They, yeah, this they, is Phoenix, uh, right? they improved... The HD version looks real nice, especially the DLC case, which I, because I know, I know the, uh, the DS version is all pixely, which means either they did all this art specially for this, or this is their original art that they downscaled. I'm not really sure. I would think that they would have made nice artwork and then downscaled it for the purposes of the DS. Probably, because I know Maya looked kind of dopey compared to this. Like her, her art was inferior. Mm -hmm. And you can tell with Phoenix, he also looks pretty bad, comparatively, mm -hmm. when you get to see him, which is very rare. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. Why did you lie about those five minutes? I guess you could say I just wanted people to look at the results. The results? How many times do I have to say this? I saw the chief prosecutor stab the victim before my own eyes. Compared to that, a five minute blank means nothing. Then why don't you just tell the truth? Don't make me laugh. We're dealing with the most untrustworthy of the vile lot known as prosecutors. Falsified evidence, arranged testimonies, erasing and manipulating evidence. When you fight monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. This is when the suspect is admitting she did it. But false testimony is the most despicable crime of all, Mr. Miss Star. Let's just get this over with. And now to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? And you found the shoe at the cr scene of the crime? I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So like an ill-trained pooch, you snuck off with a shoe. 
I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's crime. This shoe was my secret weapon. If I, sh if that should happen. See this fashionable basket I have here? It carries more than lunchboxes, gentlemen. I'm happy for you and your lunchbox bag, really. In any case, you removed, a v you removed valuable evidence from the scene of the crime. Now tell us what you did next. Two types of blood were found on this shoe. One, of course, was the victim's. So you brought it to the forensics department. If you're going to submit something as evidence in court, you need it approved. To do that, evidence must be analyzed by a forensics expert. And she got away with her little coup because she used to be a detective. The shoe does appear to have bloodstains on it. Well, the man was stabbed after all. And that blood belonged to the victim, Detective Goodman. As I said, there were two types of blood found on the shoe. And the other blood type matched that of the defendant, Lana Skye. You can't say for sure the blood belonged to the defendant with the blood test. You claim to know something about blood tests, rookie? Huh? Well, speak up. Uh, well... Blood comes in four types, A, B, O, and A, B. Yeah. However, you can't tell it from a blood test whether a murder was committed in cold blood. Hmm. Uh, uh, that's just a figure of speech, Mr. Wright. Actually, we can differentiate between millions of types with all the blood tests out there. Which means that we can more or less narrow any sample of blood down to just one person. With DNA! That's pretty specific. What was the last thing that she said? Or so I hear. Sorry. Yeah, because DNA is the one you that gives the, you a specific You said the, like, with purpose. DNA, and I was just like, well, she said it. No, no, going. no. No, DNA is the one for, like, specifics. But, yeah, blood types are only very broad in general. For instance, I think 30% of the population of the world has the O blood type, which is odd because it's a recessive blood type. Oh. I'm an AB, which is, like... And one old fogies just got to die of off the and let us ABs get. But um, it's co-dominance. You have to have an A and a B. Wanders an A. But then again, blood types are really important in Japan. It, they actually use it as a personality test, almost akin to uh, zodiac signs and astrology and such. You know? Wander? Yeah. Like, I don't. It's goofy. Yeah. So I'm a universal recipient because I'm AB positive. And people that are O negative have the... Un I, I don't want to say it's unfortunate, but anyone that I know that has O negative blood gets calls for, you know, yep. hospitals wanting blood donations all the time. I mean, it's because it's useful to anyone. If I had a little more time, I would have gotten a DNA test result. But they said that there's very little doubt it could be anyone's but Ms. Lana Skies. Hmm. So the suspect's blood was found on the victim's shoe. That ties her directly to the death of Detective Goodman. I was afraid he was going to say that. I can't let this evidence go through, through without a fight. Oh, uh, what is that? Peppered fish, guts. Who oh, <laughs> you shivering at that? Oh, God. You ordered the peppered fish guts, right? Huh? Some like it hot, Mr. Wright. Some like your client. She's in enough hot water to make a whole vat of soup. Mr. Wright, do you, do you or don't you have a problem with this shoe? A problem? This is critical. Is there a problem with the victim's shoe? You know, I actually want to say there's no problem with the victim's shoe. There are two types of blood, but then... It's was... the blood on the knife. Yeah. Oh, traces the victim's blood. Never mind. Just the victim. So, so how then... did she get her blood? 
Yeah, how did how was yeah, there, there is a, a second? Problem. Yeah, there is a problem. There's two types of blood. If I'm not imagining things, I'd say there's one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction. That gleam in your eyes. You are still young, rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish gut now. But you couldn't take the heat, could you? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has to say. What is contradictory about the victim's shoe? Show us the problem with the evidence. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what shoe is it? There's also blood under it? It's a right shoe. It's a right shoe, but he was stabbed on the left side. What? There's blood under it. Yeah. He stepped on someone's blood. I wonder if you noticed. There's blood on the bottom of this shoe. Don't mess with me, rookie. Or it'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. Ah, indeed, there's quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense, the victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be contradictory about the blood on the bottom of his shoe? I mean, look at the... The, the crime scene, there was no blood on the ground. Uh... Yeah, probably crime photo. The problem lies in the footprint. The footprint? Note that the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? Why aren't there any bloody footprints around the scene of the crime? Aha! As you can see, there were no traces of any such footprints in the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about this shoe. I like the close-up. Yeah, I like the close-up. This picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been bloody footprints. OBJECTION! Then where are they, Mr. Edgeworth? Because we checked the scene of the crime and found nothing of the sort. Order! 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 Well, witness! What? Uh, I... Uh... Great going, Mr. Wright, but... It's true that the lack of a footprint is the contradiction. But then we have to ask, why there wasn't a footprint? Oh, that's true. That should be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Uh, because that wasn't the actual scene of the murder? Correct. Think, Mr. Wright. Think. Hmm. Hey, I don't why, know why it's not there. I'm just good at finding out contradictions. What? I see. Now I get it. Get what? Our witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There's one vital hint to the truth in her testimony. What are you talking about? Back to when she told us about apprehending the victim. Or, apprehending the suspect. The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she is beautiful but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Rawr. I don't think we needed that last line. I thought there was a strange thing for the normally cool-headed chief to do. No kidding. Now, witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, was it empty? Uh, oh, Nat? Hmm. I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. Though, apparently, you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. Witness! Well, was the oil drum empty? The oil drum, kicked over by the chief prosecutor, was brimming with water. Water? What does that mean? Still don't get it, Mr. Wright. It washed the blood away, really? Do you want to know the real reason? She knocked it over the real reason. Aha! You don't mean. Yes, the suspect knocked over that oil drum for one reason and one reason alone. To erase the bloodstains that would become evidence against her. What? It keeps going. What? That ties things up quite nicely. The bloodstains left on the victim's shoe tie her quite clearly to this murder. And after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase the telltale signs. Why? 
That's a prosecutor's specialty. Erasing evidence. That reminds me, Miss Guy's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she cut herself when she stabbed him? So that's when my sister's blood got on the shoe? Wow. I see no reason to prolong this trial. M Mr. Wright, do something, please. What? What can I do? Your sister has confessed to the crime, and she tried to conceal it. But, but... Enough. There's no need for further debate. Your verdict, Your Honor. Very well. But Angel Star is on the prosecution's side. She could have been lying about the water. This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Skye. Is she gonna, is Star gonna interrupt because she doesn't like the idea of being on the prosecution? Hold it. Little girl. I knew it, I knew it. Her pride mm -hmm. is gonna get her. What did you just say? Uh, m me? Did you say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution side? W well, yeah, y you are. You're saying my sister hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. Well, hm. I thought you'd had your fill, but here you are, demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox. A lunchbox called Evidence. Wait, witness, don't tell me you have something else! The time for deliberations has passed. Can I go home now? I've got Steel Samurai on the TV. Any further comments and you will be held in contempt of court. I must miss- I, I will not miss my show! <laughs> Your threats don't scare the cough-up queen. Look at this. Oh, that's how he was found in there. <laughs> this is a very particular photograph. Another one? Yeah, a photograph. Now, was that the right shoe? Or the left shoe? We'll have to see. Uh... I had it just in case anyone had the gall to suggest. Uh, this is a right shoe. So it is the one that's on the ground. Which is odd, because the picture is actually reversed. Yeah, that that picture shows the left shoe. And, <laughs> that's dumb. Um, it doesn't matter. That the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Ah, huh. I see no room for error in this evidence. M Mr. Wright, wait! Look at the asphalt in this photo. Hey, it's clearly wet. Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. I... I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I... I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. I'm sorry, Mia. Right. Wet or not. Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Ah. Get yourself yourself up off the asphalt. Take another good look. That's asphalt. Oh, it's asphalt? Delicious. Asphalt? I've always heard it pronounced asphalt, but... Don't give up. Not until the bitter end. This is the last piece of evidence. Very well. This time I'd like to declare a verdict for good. Objection! Objection. Your Honor, wait. What is it with you people? Can't I hand down my verdicts in peace anymore? Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it can't. Then it will be too late. Look at this photograph. The last one submitted. This trial isn't over. Until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So right. Are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yeah! I'll think later. Save now. <laughs> yeah, there's a problem. Right or wrong, I've got to go ahead with this. 
I suppose since we've come this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. Plus, I'm not done with this lunchbox. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem with this photograph. What Muffler. is that? The problem is in this photograph is here. What's this? There's something poking out of the car's muffler. Wait just a moment, Mr. Edgeworth. Your honor. You just said muffler. Is that evidence? Well, remember how she said muffler on the phone? Yeah, there's something hidden in the muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf of any kind in this photograph. Uh, right, you're from the generation that only rode horses. <laughs> a muffler is also part of a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Let's think of it as a part of the exhaust system, a pipe. I see, and I see. What's that suspicious-looking cloth sticking out of the car's muffler? <laughs> so what if there's something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Sir, Miss Star, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. Wh what Let's hear what Mr. Wright has on his mind. Tell us why you think this piece of cloth is in the mu uh, piece of cloth in the muffler is related to the case. Miss Starr, recall your testimony for the court. Ah, uh, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. Muffler? Uh, yeah! Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned was actually this exhaust pipe? If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. Uh, uh, well, seems we'll have to suspend the proceedings. S suspend? I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth. If we leave any question unanswered here, we do a disservice to the law. Have the car at the crime scene inspect it at once and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until after we've seen all the evidence. Agreed? Uh, I suppose so. Woo! That was close. But we made it, at least for now. This court will adjourn for a 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime after all. He's still hungry? To be continued. Oh, were you wanting to continue? We let's. You want to do the other investigation phase? Well, we don't have another investigation phase. It's a but... thirty-minute recess. Oh, but I thought we needed to find out what that evidence was. No, they're going to grab it. So, like, why don't we why don't we finish the court for today? Unfortunately, that might still take a while. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Okay. I mean, more, we can keep going a little more bit more. More backlog is good. February 23rd, 11.56 a.m. So it took almost two hours for all that. Is How much did it take us in real time? Uh, actually almost... Two hours? We've been we've been playing Phoenix Wright for two hours. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, that's interesting. Mr. Court, defendant lobby number two. Um, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are trials always like this with you? Like you're swimming up from the bottom of a lake, about to reach the surface. But no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there. Pretty much. Except today we're swimming in quicksand. So what happened to your sister anyway? Apparently she got called to the judge's chambers. Huh. Probably something to do with that piece of cloth. 
So, this is where we turn the trial around, right? Our only weapon, a tiny, insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insi insignificant, to tell the truth. Oh. Hola, partner. They say you show a red cloth to a bull and it'll flare up its temper. That's what they told me when I was a young and it Officer Marshall! Thought I'd come and take a look, see how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. They got the home ranch locked down tighter than a fort in enemy territory. That hard to slip out, huh? What's going on over there, anyway? All the police I've seen the past two days have been really on edge. Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You could be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. Um, Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf. You don't say. Now don't that just beat all. I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many a time. I saw it that day, too. She was wearing a red muffler. W what The award ceremony that afternoon. Edgeworth's seen it, too, I reckon. What does that mean? In the photograph taken at this crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. So, Miss Star wasn't mistaken. Well... It's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. And sometimes you gotta let that bull go where it will. I will tell. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. So, what are we swimming in now, Mr. Wright? If it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. Hoo-wee. Hoo-wee! <laughs> Half an hour later. I'd like to resume. What's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. <laughs> There's something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth. Your face is blue, your lips are purple, you're sweating bullets. That furrowed brow, those grinding teeth, those watery eyes. What? It's more, your eyes are unfocused, you're doubled over, and your back is bent, you look like me in the mornings. <laughs> it can't be. This can't happen. I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. Well then, I believe it's time we continued on with this trial. During our recess, I had requested that the prosecution conduct an investigation. This is unacceptable. Huh. Seems our prosecutor is quite beside himself. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, excuse me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh! Oh, it's this guy. Whoa! What's with this guy? This is the chief of police, or something to that extent. If Wait, I but I thought the chief of police was an awkward bald guy. No. Who's this? No, dude? this is like the head of. All, all police in the area. Uh, a strange stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. A stuffy aura? So what kind of voice are you going to give him? Oh boy, He I looks don't right know. and proper, but also yeah. kind of stylish. Wait, the temperature rose? Apparently so. This man is hot. Hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. Wow, that's a substantial. Who on earth is he? Ah! It's you! Uh, One hell of a tie. I like it how he's just looking dreamily at everybody. Uh, oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm late, Udgy. The roads were packed, it's just me. Long time no say see, eh, Udgy? How you been? Swim much these days? Ah! Hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. Busy, b busy smizzy. Udgy, my boy. You have to make time to relax. Yes, indeed. Aji, seems to be his nickname for the judge. I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. Um, sorry, but who are you? Ah ha ha ha! 
Ah, so you're Vito, the attorney. I've heard so. I uh, heard good things about you, son. Uh, thanks. So sorry about a little worthy giving all that trouble, eh? You know, we should all just go swimming together sometime, jolly, naked, as the way God made us. Wait, jolly? Is this guy supposed to be British? He's talking like Elton John. Well, I can't do British, so we're just making him kind of. Uh. Oh, okay. Little worthy, Mr. Wright. You don't know the district chief of police. Ch chief of police. He's the ranking, top ranking police officer in the entire district. He's also very dreamy. <laughs> He's the only person I let him uh, let call me Aji. Sorry. Name's Gant, Damon Gant. Pleased to meet you, everyone. Oh, uh, what do we owe this? Uh, to what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? Well, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey, th that's... My sister's muffler! So Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. But to think it was stuffed into that exhaust pipe. On Little Worthy's car, no less. It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. What's this? It's what you'd call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing, this. Oh, so another knife was wrapped up in the muffler? In the muffler? Yep. Chief, what kind of outfit are you running? But Mr. Edgeworth! Did they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? Now, wait a minute, Worthy. I have no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Or didn't you hear me? <sighs> have a look at this document where it says person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that this signature is there. Miles Edgeworth? That's not fair. On the day of the crime, I, I had your head in the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I'll expect a written apology. What? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. Uh... This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. This is a kind of major blunder. Uh, this kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. Gah. This court accepts this new evidence, but I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Yes, just to be sure. I'd like to take a look at this blade, the blade of this knife. But wait, 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 wait. Look at the numbers on that tag. It's, it's the evidence it's the case. that he brought over. The b blade, your honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yes, well, I think all I have to do is press, press the switch and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I won't be able to pound my gavel anymore. If that happens, I die. Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point it at, it, at people anymore. <laughs> Come on, just hurry up and open it. Oh, it's doing it for me. Really? 675. No, number's completely... No, it's no, not. No, it is the same number. It's It's upside down. 6, 7, S. It's actually... It's SL9. A SL9, 2. Ah! Don't scare me like that! It's broken. And it does have I'm blood on it. I'm the one who's scared! Look at this knife blade! The tip is broken off! And this dark red stain. Blood. Switchblade knife added to the court documents. This does not excuse the actions of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us? 
about the split between the prosecutors and the police and this knife. <laughs> sure thing. Not a problem. Not even a little one. Really?